Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Ken, and welcome to my early 2014 edition of my desk setup tour video. If you want to check out my previous setup tour video I made a few months ago, I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Alright, so let me just start from the left side of my desk. As you can see, I have a lot of gadgets, a lot of phones and tablets. By the way, I will put all the product links in the description so you can check the description if you want to see more info about these products. So I have my Samsung Galaxy Note 3. This is my daily driver. Uh, I love the 5.7 inch large screen 1080p HD Super AMOLED display. I also have the HTC One. It's the red edition. The design, the build quality is quite amazing, and I'm very excited for the second generation HTC One, so expect more videos on these devices. Of course, I also have the iPhone 5S. This is pretty much the secondary device or the secondary phone I have. I use it every day. I also use my iPad mini second generation uh, with Retina display every day. Uh, it's my favorite tablet, I have to say, and the second tablet I have is the second generation, the 2013 version Nexus 7. Uh, I think that this is the best tablet for the money. You can get it for around $200. And last but not least, I have the iPod Touch 5G. This is basically my jailbreak device, and I, of course, listen to music using the iPod. I also have this watch. This is the Tokyo Flash X-Style watch. The LED lights and the overall design looks very sleek. The microphone I use is actually the Blue Yeti microphone. I'm using it to record this voiceover right now. It sounds pretty good, but I am planning on upgrading to a microphone with XLR input, like the Rode Procaster, the Electro Voice RE20, or even the Blue Spark or the Blue Bluebird. The lenses I have on my desk are the Nikon 35mm and the Rokonon 14mm. And I'm using the Nikon D600 with the 50mm lens to record this video. On my desk, I also have these studio monitor speakers. These are the M-Audio AV40s. Great sound quality. Uh, it's great for, you know, monitoring your videos or great for listening to music, of course. And it has a very affordable price. Above the speaker, I have this Dambo character. It's actually... Uh, battery charger or external battery pack. This one is 6,000 milliamp hours and I have another one and this one is a bit bigger. It's 10,000 milliamp hours. So it's going to keep all my devices fully charged if I am outside uh, with no battery left. I just have two monitors on my desk. The left one is a slightly smaller one, 21 inch Acer and the right one is a 24 inch Asus. I'll put the model names in the description and they're all very affordable, around $150 or $200. The keyboard I use is the Logitech G19S gaming keyboard. It's very big, uh, the keys are very easy to press, and also it's backlit illuminated, so it looks quite nice at night. The headphones I'm using right now are the Audio-Technica ATHM50X. It's a very updated version, it just came out a few days ago, and this features the removable cable, and it's a very affordable headphone. Um, it creates a very accurate sound. Uh, it's great for listening to music, and of course, it's great for doing uh, music or video editing. I also prefer using the Logitech UE9000 headphones because they are Bluetooth, so it doesn't require any wires, uh, so it's a very convenient headphone for traveling. And here is my lighting setup. Right above my head, I have this clamp light I bought from IKEA. It's a very nice light. It basically lights up my entire desk. I have two more lamps in my room. One is a floor lamp and the other one is a table lamp. I also have some LED lights running in the back. Uh, it's very hard to see right now because it's very bright. It looks quite nice at night. I have the BlueSync SRC. These are the Bluetooth speakers I prefer using. The overall design of it and the sound quality is quite nice. So my room is actually quite lit up. It's very bright. Uh, it's great for making videos, of course. You need to have a lot of light to create a very nice looking video. So this pretty much concludes my desk setup tour video of early 2014. If you enjoyed the video, again, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of my setup and 
What's special about your setup? I, I am going to read all your comments. It's going to be quite interesting, so leave them down below. Thanks a lot for watching this video once again, and I will see you in my next video. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. A lot of tech videos are coming very soon in the future. One more thing, I created a new channel just a few days ago, and it's going to be my personal channel, a personal vlogging channel. I'm going to be posting a lot of you know, Q&A videos just to get to know me a bit more in that channel. I also posted a video which was a behind the scenes of this video. If you want to check out my lighting setup, my cameras, my video gear, my tripod, slider, and just a behind the scenes of this video, go ahead and check out that video. And check out my channel if you want, you can go ahead and subscribe. I'll put the link in the description and or you can just click the annotation on the screen. Thanks a lot for watching this video once again and peace.